we're going to answer a question from the Knitting Daily community. Laura from Anchorage, Alaska asks, how can I care for my luxury knits and is dry cleaning really necessary? To help answer that question, Kathy Elkins is with us from Webb's Yarn Store. Hi, Liz. And I'm Kim with good news. You do not have to dry clean Yay! your luxury colors. <laughs> I know. And everybody thinks you have to, and it's the only answer. And it's not. You can care for them yourself. Now, the thing you have to remember, we're not washing jeans and t-shirts here. So you have to take a little bit of care and a little bit of time, but it'll save you a lot of money um, on dry and cleaning And I can expenses. do it myself. You absolutely can do it yourself. Um, I've brought an example here today. Um, we're going to take care of this beautiful cashmere hat. Um, what you want to start off with is a bucket or a bowl of water. Now you can also do this in a sink or in a tub at home. Just make sure it's clean and that there's no residual cleansers because they will damage the fibers. And does the temperature of the water matter? Yeah, I suggest that you use either cool water or room temperature water. I tend to get a little anxious and don't have the time to wait for room temperature, but cool, no hot, no warm water. Um, and then what you want to do is use a good quality no rinse wool wash. And there's several on the market. Um, and all you need is just an absolute little drop of it less than a teaspoon just a little bit oh like that. and then you take your garment or your hat in this case and submerge it into the water now finer fibers will absorb the water in the wool wash very very quickly this because it's a little bit thicker you really want to squeeze the water and the wool wash through now, the I've garment. I've always been warned about agitating and we're not really agitating we're really just squeezing just to get the water in the wool wash through now you don't want to start playing around and really swooshing this because you will start a little bit of a felting process. And then you want to gently squeeze, and again, no agitating and no wringing, but squeeze the water out of the garment, and then you want to bring it over to the towel. And what you need to do now is just lay it out a little bit and then okay. roll it in the towel and squeeze it to get the excess water out. And this is so no wringing, no twisting. No, no wringing, no and twisting. And this will get it. And this will help speed the drying process. Okay. Then what you want to do is flatten it back out. Okay. Make get it out to its regular shape. Now with a hat, it's a little bit easier. If you were using a full garment, a sweater, or something, you'd really want to take some time okay. and shape it back, and then let it be. Is there a reason to wash your garments regularly? Um, you don't have to do it after every wearing because that'll just wear down the fibers. Um, I would say uh, you know once or twice a season, unless you've really been in an environment where you know you've picked up odors in a restaurant or something like that, or have had some sort of a spill. Um, they tend to be pretty a lot more durable than people think that they are. Very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing all of this Great. with us today. And it's much easier than I thought it would be. It's much easier than I think most people think and better for the environment and less expensive. Fabulous. Well, that's the answer to today's question. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Projects, patterns, ideas, and techniques from today's show to help you make time for yarn every day can be found on the web at knittingdailytv.com. This is Show 101. Continue knitting daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Webbs, America's Yarn Store, the source for all your knitting and crocheting yarns and supplies. Yarn.com